this video, I'll show you how to remove and replace all the available kit of the RS-800 CBT transaxle. First, remove the four screws using the T25 bit to release the driver kit and the belt. Remove the cover from the driven pulley using a T20 bit to access the ramps. Compress the aluminum ramp to release the pin. Then remove the various components. Use the pin and the special tool to unscrew the nut and release the lower flange. High torque might be necessary to unlock the nut. The transmission for the pedal unit has an inversion security system located under the lower flange. Remove it, taking care not to lose the eight balls. Disconnect the control rod, then remove the cover. To remove the brake lever, first unhook the spring, then remove the two screws. The lever might be tough to pull off. Don't forget the O-ring. Remove the E-clip to liberate the variation control kit. Unscrew the bolt using a 13 millimeter wrench. Then remove the control cam and the various control components. The transmission for the pedal unit has an additional lever and spring located under the control cam. To remove the bypass kit, remove both strips from the shift fork to liberate the lever. Then, remove the bypass lever and its spring. Unscrew the bolt and spring to release the inversion kit. For the fender unit version, remove the friction pack located on the front of the transmission. To install the friction pack, snap the friction pack on the transmission, then fix it with the four screws, respecting the screwing torque. Install the pivot in the inversion lever, then insert the rod of the inversion kit in the pivot. Don't forget the first spring. After having installed the lever on the upper housing, insert the second spring on the rod and tighten the nut. Distance between both washers must be 2.48 inches to ensure a proper inversion. When installing the bypass lever and its spring, Make sure that the lever is properly positioned and free in rotation. Install the various components of the controls kit on the transmission. For the pedal version, make sure that the neutral lever is properly seated against the control cam, then tighten the bolt.
Respect the tightening torque. Insert the lever on the steel part. Make sure the O-ring is in position on the brake lever, then install it on the composite lever. Use a rubber hammer to slightly push the lever, then replace the two screws respecting the tightening torque. Install the variation kit on the upper housing and connect the rod to its axle. Make sure the rod connects in the correct orientation before fastening the E-clip. Install the cover on the top of the transmission, then replace the four screws respecting the tightening torque. Don't forget to place the washer before inserting the lower flange on the input shaft. For the pedal version, don't forget to place the complete inversion security system on the input shaft before placing the lower flange. Insert the washer and tighten the nut using the pin and the special tool. Apply the correct torque. Place the driven kit components on the shaft. Then screw the cover on the top of the kit, respecting the tightening torque. For the fender version, don't forget to connect the control rod to its axle. Install the belt in the driven pulley, then in the driver kit. Make sure the lower bushing is in the correct orientation. Then connect both variation levers to the lower bushing. Check that the aluminum plate is in the correct orientation before screwing it on the upper housing. Respect the torque. Turn the driven pulley to properly place the belt. Then verify that the driver pulley can rotate freely without driving the belt. The speed can be slightly increased by tightening the screw located on the lower bushing of the driver kit. After having installed and connected the transmission in the tractor, don't forget to remove the pin from the friction pack. 